as you guys can tell by the title, you know, to be honest with you, I didn't even want to do this last stream to be honest with you, but I have literally had, you know, I figured you guys should know the truth about what's going on. And that is that because of these record labels bashing on me so much, then I am literally being forced to retire from the music industry. And you guys are probably thinking, well, why would you retire? Like, that's what you do. Like, all of these labels bring me down. Well, it goes further than that. Yesterday, I contacted literally every local venue that I could right here in Akron. Like, literally every single one of them all day long. Like, literally, I spent the entire day, you know, contacting them, getting in touch with them. Be like, hey, you know, can I perform, you know, for you guys? Like, what's your fees? And because of these record labels, I am not able to perform here in Akron at all every single venue i contacted like literally all of them like i literally sat down the other day and contacted every single venue one right after the other and every single one of them said the same damn thing because of what these record labels and these companies are saying about me that i basically and bad for business which means from an artist's perspective what that means that they will not allow me to perform and if i can't perform you know how am i supposed to make any money like if i can't perform my music live how am i supposed to make any money off of what i do do I want to retire? Fuck no. I don't want to retire. But how do you battle discrimination at this level? Especially when you don't have any money. And I even tried getting smart. I tried downloading a video call recorder and a voice call recorder and none of them, you know, none of the ones that I used worked at all, like whatsoever. So basically I'm screwed. I can't afford a lawyer, so I can't combat this. You know, I can't do anything. My hands are tied. I have no choice but to retire from music for good. Do I want to? No, I don't want to. I really don't, but what choice do I fucking have? Every single place I've gotten in contact with has said that I'm bad for business. Has said that they will not allow me to perform there because of how sketchy everything sounds. Even after I explained the situation to them, they still said that it doesn't matter that, you know, it's still, it's too risky. Like I said, I don't want to quit music, but what other choice do I fucking have at this point? Like, I can't afford to start up my own record label because I have no money. I have nothing except my talents. And for those of you that have been there behind me since day one when I started my music you guys know this by now but for those that don't know let me tell you I have no money I cannot work because my mom is very disabled she's barely able to do anything so I have to stay at home to help take care of her so our roommate he works during the day so he's an able body he's able to work so he helps us out And me, I have no computer at all. 
Like literally, and if you guys don't believe me, look. That's where my computer used to sit. There's nothing there now. And the reason why is because it no longer works. So basically, I'm screwed. I can't do anything. My hands are tied on this one, guys. Like, I can't do anything, and I'm sorry. I don't want to quit music. I really don't, because you guys know that that's the one thing that I'm, you know, really good with better than almost anything else. Like, that is the one thing that, you know, I can depend on to make a living from. And, you know, nobody's willing to buy any of my stuff. So I can't make money to, off of, you know, my merchandise to support myself. And is it fair that I'm going through this? No. It's pure fucking bullshit. It's discriminating against me. And how I look physically. Like, that's not fair at all. I know what you guys are thinking. Instead of focusing on my looks, they need to be focused on my music. And you're right. They do. They really do. But that's not how they see it. They think that just because I look different, that I don't have what it takes. You guys have heard my melodic covers of... All the songs that I've worked with. You guys have heard my dubstep metal song, Feeding on Darkness. You guys have heard my raps. You guys have heard my freaking metal songs that I've put out. You guys have heard everything that I've released. And every day I get told, why am I not signed? And this is why. Because of these record labels running their fucking smart ass mouths way too fucking much and basically going around spreading rumors about me that I'm bad for business and there's not a goddamn thing I can do to stop it and is it fair no it's not let me tell you something normally I don't break down into tears all day long but yesterday I was in tears all fucking day long because this is my livelihood this is what I do better than anything Yes, I've got my artwork that I can fall back on. And for those of you that are wondering, I am opening up a cheaper shop through the site called Cafe Press. I will be releasing my artwork on the canvases and pretty much everything that you can think of on there. So shout out to Cafe Press. Can't wait to be working with you guys. So, you know, instead of doing my music, I am going to be running my cafe press shop full time like it's gonna be full time because what I'm gonna do with that money is not only am I going to pay somebody to you know build me a site for my merchandise but also I am going to be taking the rest of that money well part of it's gonna go into a site some of it is gonna go towards some of the victims from the Las Vegas massacre that happened last week and you know some of the victims like one of them who my good friend Jeremy knows who I got to talk to you know I did get to speak with you know one of the survivors and honestly I've never broken down so quick in my life Like, when I talked to him, he was literally in the hospital bed with a fucking, his arm wrapped from here to here, like his arm was, and then around his chest, and like a bunch of tubes going through him because he was shot in the arm during that massacre, and he went down to the ground. So this girl seen him and covered him 
And then she unfortunately got shot, and as she was being shot, she told him to, you know, run. And, you know, like, he said that it looked like something straight out of the horror movie, and he's right. Seeing the footage that I saw on the news that day, it was, it was horrifying. But just know that some of the money from Cafe Press will go towards that. Um, and, you know, the rest, like I said, it will be put aside so I can start up my own record label. So I can start up my own company so I can get stuff going on my own. And believe me, I didn't want to quit music. Because you guys know, first and foremost, that music is what I love. It's what I do best. Um, yes, I will be still doing, you know, vocal covers through, you know, the app called Star Maker and whatnot. So if you guys haven't checked out my latest song cover on Star Maker, go check it out. It's on my timeline. It's a Suicide Silence cover. So go check it out. But other than that, guys, I am truly sorry, but I am being forced to retire. I don't want to retire, like I said. I want to keep going, but I can't. And is it fair that this is happening to me? And now I'm getting discriminated against like this? No, it's not. It's very unfair. Because let me tell you something, even my mom, my own mom, is outraged by this. Just like I'm sure a lot of you are too. Like, I honestly am at a loss for words at this point. I really am. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Like, I can't fight back because I have no money. And I have no money... Because I can't work. I've started up several different campaigns, donations, shops, and nobody's willing to pitch in and help out by, you know, buying a t-shirt for like five or ten bucks and getting a free full album of my music to pass around. Or nobody's willing to, you know, put in the effort and spend 25 bucks on a unique, one-of-a-kind t-shirt that nobody else in the world has. So, what the fuck am I supposed to do if none of y'all are willing to step up and help out? The only people that I see really trying to help out are people like my friend Angel, Raina Atkins, Tristan, Rebecca, and very, very few select others. And you all know who you are who helped me out. You guys know that. But for the rest of you guys, you sit there and say you give a shit about what goes on with me. No, you don't. If you did, you'd be stepping up and trying to find a way to help out. I mean, seriously. Y'all sit there and say, oh, I feel bad for you. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And then you sit there and say, like, oh, you know, I'll buy your stuff, you know, when I get the money. And instead of buying my stuff when you get the money like you say you're going to do, what do you turn around and do? You go out, buy a pack of smokes, or buy a pack of beer. Every fucking time. And I'm fucking tired of it. I'm sick of being lied to. If you're not going to buy my stuff, just say so. And send the link to somebody who you know well. That's all you gotta fucking do. But instead you wanna sit there and jerk me around like a fucking idiot. And pretend that you give a shit when really none of y'all motherfuckers do. Aside from the ones that are really truly trying to help. Like I know my friend Chris, he tries to help out as much as he can. You know, Daquan, he tries to help. Angel, Raina. Rebecca, Jersey, there's a very select few people 
and who do truly try to help. But as for the rest of y'all, y'all don't give two fucks. If you did, you'd be stepping up and keeping your promise and trying to help me out by either donating to my Patreon. I have an applicant store where you guys can go in and, you know, buy stuff like merchandise. And that money I will be using to, you know, fund the start of my record label, Misunderstood Records, and stuff like that. Like, I put that stuff out there for you guys, because I figured it's something that you guys would want. You guys wanted me to put out merchandise? You guys got it. I have three fucking sites where you guys can fucking buy shit. Three sites. And I've sent all y'all motherfuckers links. Every single one of you. Including to my two main stores, which is RayJohn.com and BusyJam.com. I've sent you guys all the links to all my stuff. I've made you guys stuff for free. And where has it fucking gotten me? It's gotten me stabbed in the back and thrown down the fucking hole. That's where y'all have fucking gotten me. So yeah, I'm fucking pissed off at a lot of fucking people. And to be honest, I have every fucking reason to be pissed off. Because, you know, I get that, you know, people don't have a lot of money. But my point is, when you sit there and say that you're going to do something, don't sit there and say you're going to do it and then turn around and do something else. That just makes you look bad. That's like me. Do I make promises I can't keep? No. That's not how I was raised. I was raised to keep my promises, and I always deliver all my promises. It might not always be right away, but I do deliver on them. Every fucking time. When I say I'm going to release an album, I release an album. Whenever I say I'm going to release a song, I release a song. When I say I'm going to do something for you guys, I usually come up with something for you guys. Every time. But what do y'all motherfuckers do? You sit there and stab me in the motherfucking back and I'm getting tired of it. And for those of you that are doing that shit to me, you know what you guys are? You're fucking sellouts. You're just like all the fucking labels. You sit there and say one thing and do another. And I'm getting fucking tired of it. I've busted my ass for the last 10 fucking years to get where I'm at. I have busted my ass day and fucking night on almost zero goddamn sleep. Just perfecting my shit. Every fucking day I bust my ass. Even now, to this very day, I sit up. I bust my ass. I work on shit. I work on artwork for you guys. I do all this, you know, nice stuff for you. Well, if y'all don't fucking start, you know, showing that you do give a shit like you say you do, then all that shit's gonna stop. I know you guys like my artwork. I know you guys like my music. But you know what? I'm not doing this shit for free anymore, guys. I need to make a living. What part of that do you not fucking understand? Does it not occur to you that I'm battling a lot more than most fucking artists do? On top of the usual hate and the usual thieves, you know, trying to steal my artwork and music, I'm facing discrimination. More than any other fucking artist. Every other person out there, literally every fucking day, is tearing me down. Saying that I'm not good enough. I've got labels tearing me down. Saying that I'm not good enough. Saying that I won't make it. Because of how I look. Because I'm different. They don't like me because I stand out from the crowd. Because I don't conform to what they want me to be. And that's the one thing I'll never fucking do is conform. I refuse to conform to what they want me to be. I'm sorry, but I'm not a fucking sellout.
I would rather be with a small independent label that is honest rather than be with a major fuck up of a damn record label who wants to sit there and judge people. I'm fucking tired of it. Every fucking day I sit here and I bust my ass. Every fucking day I do what I gotta do. I stay up almost every day and every night on very little sleep, writing, recording, more writing, more recording, producing. Even though I don't have a computer, I still work with what I got. And if that doesn't show hard work and dedication to you motherfuckers, then what does? Because obviously you don't give two fucks. Y'all should be ashamed of yourselves. And no, I'm not talking to the ones that, you know, do help out and do give a shit and do try. I'm talking to these motherfuckers that say they do, but really they don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm talking to you motherfuckers. Those of you that sit there and say one thing and do another. Y'all don't know what I go through on a fucking daily basis with these labels and these venues. It's a constant battle for me. It's never ending. I am always being scrutinized. Outcast, torn down. I am constantly being bashed on, bullied, being discriminated against. Every fucking day of my life, by every venue, every label, every other person. Because of how I look physically. And I've tried to confront him. But I don't have any fucking money to do it. And y'all don't seem to understand that I can't do this shit with no money. Y'all don't seem to understand that. So what's it going to fucking take for you guys to finally get off your goddamn asses and start fucking helping out like you said you're going to do? I'm fucking tired of it. I really am. I'm tired of the fucking discrimination and I'm tired of being fucking lied to by you motherfuckers that say you give a shit but you don't. And you sit there and say, oh, I'll do this for you, I'll do that for you, and then you turn around and don't do it. I'm fucking tired of it. And you guys know who you are. And for those of you that are doing it, y'all motherfuckers should be real fucking ashamed of yourselves. Because you know what? I would do that for every single one of you. If you sent me a link to buy some of your stuff, and I thought it was good enough to buy, you damn right I'd save up my money and buy it. I'm not just going to sit there and not help another artist out. I'm not just going to sit there and not help someone out who I know needs it. Because let me tell you, there's very few fucking people in this world that deserve free shit from me. And one of those few people that does deserve it more than anyone else right now is my good friend Raina Atkins. Because she's like me. She has no money. She has boards on her window. And she literally is happy to literally get clothes from places like food banks. And she's been one of my longest time supporters. She's been there since day one. She has always found a way to support my stuff, no matter what. So if somebody like her who has zero money can still find a way to support my shit, why can't y'all motherfuckers do the same? That's what I don't get. Y'all say you give a fuck about me, but really you don't. You do not give two fucks. If you did, you wouldn't be sitting on your goddamn ass. You'd be out there busting your ass like every other person does for me. Like every fucking person who truly supports me does. Every person who supports me, you'll see them tag me and shit. They'll share my shit. They'll 
posted in groups, they'll post it in messages wherever they can. But for you motherfuckers that, you know, aren't doing that, and you guys know who you are, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about, you know, why can't y'all follow their example and do that? Because you guys don't see what I fucking go through every day with these record labels. You guys don't see the discrimination that I face every fucking day of my life. There are times where I am brought down to tears because of this shit. And is it fair? No. But it's happening every day. Every day I constantly get, you know, fucked up voicemails. I get, you know, really messed up emails. I get told to my face by video chat that I'm not good enough and that I'll never make it because of my looks. You guys don't see that because you don't want to see it. You refuse to sit down for two fucking seconds and see just what it is that I go through. You guys don't know how many fucking people every day. Every day. I have at least 40 to 50 people telling me how good I am. And telling me that it's messed up that I'm not signed. And that I'm not making it. And one of the reasons I'm not making it. Is because y'all motherfuckers that sit there and say one thing. And then do a completely another thing. So don't think it's just all on the labels. It's on you guys too. Like, for real, I'm fucking tired of it. I really am. Like I said, I don't want to quit music. But if something doesn't give soon, you know, what other choice do I have but to fucking retire? Seriously. If y'all aren't going to fucking support me, then I may as well just fucking hang up my guitar, hang up my mic, and say fuck this shit and be done. So it's up to you guys. If you guys are willing to help me put an end to all this fucking shit, maybe then, just maybe, I'll consider coming back. If I start seeing results, then I'll come back. But until then, to all you fake ass motherfuckers that or saying one thing and then doing another thing behind my back. Here's a big fuck you. Not to this, that fuck you was not to anybody that does help. You guys know who you are that do help me. And I love every single one of you guys. That fuck you was for everybody that sits there and says one thing and does a whole other thing. I can name off every fucking fan on my Facebook that is a true fan. Right now. Easily. And to be honest with you, I'm going to need more than just these two hands to do it. But I can still name off every single one of them. Every person who helps me, I can name off. Every person who has backed me up since day one, I can name off right off the bat. How many people do you know that remember names of random people who support their shit? How many people do you know of that go to a local store and meet a fan for the first time and when you see them again, you remember their name? You remember who they are? You remember talking to them? I guarantee you not very many, but you know what? I remember every single person that I meet who is a fan of my work. I remember every single person who I have stopped to take a photo for, who I have stopped to sign stuff for, who I have spoken with and gotten to hang out with. I remember that shit because every single person that supports me, 
means the world to me. There's not very many people that are willing to do that. You see, I'm not a sellout. I take time for my fans. I take time for those that, you know, appreciate what I do. But for those of you that don't support me, I don't have time for that shit. I really don't. Because you know what? I bust my ass way too fucking much to be worried about you guys. I bust my ass every day. And what do I get in return? A big fuck you. And what am I supposed to do about that? And you know, Jersey's right. I do have every right to be upset. So for y'all motherfuckers, pay attention to Jersey. Pay attention to people like my best friend Angel Bolton. Pay attention to my best friend Stephanie Sinso. Pay attention to Snowbell. Pay attention to the people that do support my stuff. And maybe once in a while, pay attention to my YouTube channels. I have three different ones, but my main ones I use are my Shadow Blade official one and my DK Customs one. And if you guys don't have the links to those, ask somebody. They can send it to you. Ask someone like Angel. They can send you the links. Ask Jersey. She can send you all the links to my stuff. Seriously, it's not that fucking hard, people. But like I said, until something gives in, I unfortunately am going to have to retire from music. I don't want to, but that's how it is. As I said, until something gives in, I will be opening up a custom art and clothing store with my artwork on literally everything you guys can think of. I'm going to be running it full time through the site Cafe Press. So I'll be running that full time. I'll be constantly putting out products on there for you guys. But with that being said, I have to hop off here. I got some stuff I gotta do. And then I'm gonna be doing some more covers and then I'm gonna hang out for the night. Chill out on, you know, Messenger with people like Jersey and some of my other friends and stuff like that. And also spend time with my girl on here. So with that being said, guys, if you were offended by what I said to you, I do apologize, but I'm just telling the truth. I'm stating the fact. That's all I'm doing. And like Jersey said, I have every right to be upset. And I am. I'm very upset. I'm beyond disappointed. I really am. Because y'all motherfuckers should be ashamed of yourselves. For those of you not doing what you say you're going to do, y'all should be seriously ashamed of yourselves. She really should. And with that being said, guys, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this is Shadow Blade signing off for the last and final time until something gives in and there's a change made. I want to thank every single person who has supported me all these years. And I mean truly supported me. I want to thank every single fan who has been listening to my stuff since day one. Y'all are the best. 
and all the fans that I've gained over the years, you guys are truly, truly amazing. I love every single one of you guys. You guys mean the world to me. Like, I honestly can ask for a better fan base. But just know that for you guys who have supported me, I will be doing something special on Cafe Press for you guys. And I will be doing something special as well outside of that for all of you. With that being said, guys, this is Chance, also known as Shadow Blade, signing off for the last and probably the final time. I love you guys. Thank you all for such an amazing, amazing journey. I love you guys. Be seeing you.